Each week we go inside Cal High Sports with athletes who are outstanding for a variety of reasons. Cavity Martin joins us now with the story of an Oakland football star who's also shining in the classroom. Robert, getting offered a full scholarship to college is rare, but the likelihood becomes even more uncommon when the offer comes from the prestigious Ivy League. McClyman senior Calton Reynolds is a football player who knows what it feels like to be in this very elite group. Don't judge a book by its cover, a saying we have all heard countless times, and it can't be more fitting for Kelton Runnels. Kelton is a senior lineman on the McClyman's football team. One look at him and you will see he definitely looks the part. At 6'1", 240 pounds, he is big, strong, and very, very powerful. But what you won't know at first glance, Kelton is also very, very smart. He really represents that student athlete who understands balance. So it's been really nice to see him excel on the field and he gets really excited about being a leader on the field and at school, like the whole team spirit thing. He's really a leader for the school. I see my education as a gateway for me to get where I want to be. I don't, I don't only want to depend on one thing. I want to have other doors open for me in life. Kelton is a force on the field racking up a number of accolades including OAL first team and all Metro honorable mention as a junior. But what is even more remarkable are his achievements in the classroom. Well, you know, he's a 4.0 student. Um, uh, so what it does is we have a, a top 10 list and Kelton's name is always on top. So everybody's trying to knock him down. So we got a couple guys that's 3.8, 3.5 trying to chase him down. But right now, he, you know, he, he, he's untouchable as far as that. Kelton's commitment to his books and football is being noticed nationwide. Several of the top academic institutions in the country have recognized his accomplishments. It was super exciting when I first got to Harvard. Harvard was the first people to actually ever offer me. I was really excited. I, was, I was, couldn't sleep at night sometimes. It was really fun. And then Davis offered me that like put the icing on the cake. You know, Yale comes through every once in a while. See, you know, we got the kind of guys that they're looking for. And um, it's been a while since we had an Ivy League guy. Kelton, you know, uh, came up on the radar to them guys, and they've been hunting him down, hunting him down, and, uh, you know, so that's big. For many high school student athletes, their play on the field tends to come before their work in the classroom. But Kelton is changing the landscape and setting an example of how important it is to excel both on and off the field. Kelton does is he just helps his students re remind them that, you know, excelling academically is cool. You know, because I think unfortunately they come in and they start thinking, well, gosh, if I study instead of work out, that's not really very cool. But he's representing, you know, really strong, well-built guys, like wide and strong, who spends, I think, more time actually studying than he does working out. Kelton's sharp. He's really sharp and he, he can explain better than teachers because he's a peer. Like He knows how to word things better. He can articulate things to where I can get it. I feel great that I'm able to influence my teammates and people who aren't even athletes sometimes. Because without education, you're pretty much lost in, in the world. So like the pages in this book, Kelton's life tells a story which goes much deeper than just his sturdy cover. It's a story only just beginning with many blank pages waiting to be filled. Kelton hasn't made a decision on where he will go to college, but of all the schools in the conversation, I really don't think he can go wrong. Yeah, no, he's gonna do just fine. Thanks, Kev.